Good day, folks, and welcome back to RimWorld with me, Fuge Force 14. This is part three of my ongoing permadeath series. So, last time we ended off with a bit of a stockpile problem. Namely, our food stockpile is full. But it's also not a good food stockpile, because it's going to go off. So, to start with today, we're going to get our... Big new food complex made. So, this is going to comprise three different rooms in here. What we're going to have is a food production area, leading into a small fridge, where we're going to keep food that's ready to eat, and then a big freezer. Now, we are going to need some floors in here, but we don't need anything particularly special. We're just going to go with wood flooring. It means we are going to need a lot more wood. So, all these newly grown trees that have been cropping up. And a lot of trees over here. It's time for them to fall over. Now, the reason I kept a lot of components back is for the coolers. Because you need quite a lot. Well, you do with a room that size, anyway. So there we have a whole ton of work to be done. Now in here, we're going to be setting up a couple of butcher's tables. A couple of electric stoves. And for now, there's just going to be a crafting spot. That will get changed eventually. Obviously with those, we're going to want chairs for people to sit on. And away we go. There go the traders that visited us last time on their merry journey. Benji and said you're getting in a little bit of morning glory there, because why not? Oh yeah, I will also want 
a way to access that from the outside. Now, this building is currently the number one priority, so I'm going to set everybody onto priority one construction, just to get it done. Now, it doesn't mean a few resources are going to get wasted, because some people just don't know what they're doing. But in the grand scheme of things, it's worth a little bit of waste just to ensure it gets done. Because this really is a high priority construction now. for a little while now. Let's check the status of our electric grid. We're doing fine, plenty of excess still. Okay, so with most of the work done, we can now calm everyone down a bit. But in doing that, you'll notice that when I started, everybody was a red on construct. Benji actually leveled up a little bit from that, which is good. batch of berries, but the stockpile isn't ready for them yet. Another batch of medicine the stockpile is ready for. So now all all of our generators have flipped off. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn two of them off anyway. They don't think we need that much power right now. Yeah. <sighs> 
hopefully we'll get some refueling done. Now, Sadie's got the food poisoning. That's not great. And we have a heat wave. Okay, this is less than ideal. A heat wave means we urgently need to get this food production done because the temperature is going to skyrocket. You can see it's already 44 degrees. And going up. Thankfully, our people do have somewhere to go if they need to cool off. We have the hospital. Which is good because there's going to be heat stroke. There already is heat stroke, so we hit 47 degrees. And I'm going to blank that Wrath Thrombo's warning just for now because we can't deal with them. If you want to see them, here they are, beautiful beasts. Their fur and their horns are worth a vast amount of money, but they are deadly. Meanwhile, Sadie has already thrown up in the new kitchen. Feels bad. She'll start feeling better soon. She just has a little bit of the food poisoning right now. It'll go away. She may actually end up being hospitalized if it doesn't go away soon. And then we have our goats. One-year-old male and a 12-year-old female. So when one of them gets pregnant, don't think about it too hard. I really hope it's going to be the female. So, here goes Sadie, getting to work. Food poisoning has now gone, thankfully. And then she gets food poisoning again. Bit of a problem, this. Bah. And Sadie has passed out. So she's going to get taken to the hospital. Where thankfully her heat stroke will go down. The heat stroke should go down. Ah, the problem we've got here is that the coolers are not working. So one thing we're going to do is set this door to be held open and then push Sadie through it so that it gets held open. Now both of these coolers can work on keeping the building cool. Happy has now passed out. So we're going to make sure she gets picked up. And yeah, we're going to be bouncing back and forth between people passing out and having other problems for a little while. And of course, the second she gets to the hospital, she can walk again. Mm. 
Okay, so a new quest has come in, Royal Ascent. Now, if we had a count and a free bedroom, we could ride on a high stellar shuttle. But we don't have a count, so it's not an issue right now. Mm. And another one, a towering construction. A dame wants us to build a monument. We're not gonna do that. We don't do monuments, not yet. Teddy here grabbing all of the wood. Now, some people really need to start hauling. Problem is, we don't have any extra colonists coming in. We could really do with some. We're just not getting lucky. Meanwhile, we're losing power and nobody's refueling the generators. Kind of annoying. And we're going to lose some crops soon. So I think I'm going to have to put everybody back on to construct again. Because we need to get this done now. Another quest. A friend has been wounded while traveling and wants us to go and rescue. Yeah, that that's a nope nope. That's sorry. Your friend is going to have to suffer. Sadie so throwing up all over the medicine because, of course. Be honest, you know, the heat wave has gone, thankfully. So that door can now be closed. I'm 
going to happy to come through here and make that happen. Another quest, a man running from four man-hunting, uh, sorry, a woman running from four man-hunting lynxes. Hmm. Though I feel like this is a very, very bad idea, we need the extra person. Coming in from the top left. Take a look at you, incapable of none, very good with animals. Okay. Well, your first priority is going to be to go grab the gun. Now. Good thing about this home zone. I'm just going to restrict it to everything literally within the walls. So nothing outside at all will be allowed. Because now, I can restrict people. Make clear that they are only allowed inside the home area. By doing that, it means these lynxes won't be able to see anyone go through a door. Which means that they will eventually, you know, sod off. Now, while we're here... Let's look at work. So, decent builder, very good hunter. I'm going to prioritize hauling and cleaning for this one. So yeah, we have a new colonist. Let's take a little more of a look. So, a young machinist, now a livestock farmer, a 32-year-old chick with a great memory, who is a fast learner and a psychopath, and everything electrical in the base just went down because this game hates me, apparently. But what can you do? And already she has food poisoning! However, you'll notice that we're almost, almost done. Sadie, 
get up, finish the job. Now, maybe because this is too big. Which means I might need to just put a couple of pillars in. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. It is saying unroofed, I'm not sure why. Yeah, I'm just gonna dot a handful of columns through there. So yeah, this is the middle patch here. And now it's indoors. Right. Next problem. We need to fuel the generators. We are probably going to need to turn these on as well. We don't have much excess because nobody bothered refueling that other generator. There we go. So now we have excess, which is good. Now, this room here. It's going to be a refrigerator. Now, we're actually going to set this to minus one degree. And I will set it to zero, a proper chiller. These ones... I'm going to try and still feed at minus five. So we'll see how they do with getting the temperature down. Okay, they're just about coping. Which means now I can set up the stockpiles, and we like stockpiles. Stockpiles are good. So, this one, priority critical, clear all. This will allow meals, chocolate, and that's basically it. Meals and chocolate. Not even pemmican goes in there. This one. Priority important as opposed to critical. So we'll take any food, any medicine, any drugs, wart, and any plant matter. Now we just remove this. We get these set up. And now, of course, we can go a lot better with our meals because they'll be frozen. Here, we're going to have 
this be done forever? Then we're going to clear the bills from these and order them to be deconstructed. Now, I don't need everybody on construct anymore. I need everybody hauling and cleaning if they can. A royal tribute collector. Well, they're going to get very upset because I ain't getting no tribute. Luckily, Dubois, the, yeah, I can't say that. DB, DB, okay. My mouth will not pronounce that name. So DB here has taken the spare bedroom. We only have one. I'm going to quickly cancel that being smoothed. It's going to be a bit of... These boys just deal with my Lynx problem. I believe they did. Well then. Got ourselves a mad squirrel. Ooh, had ourselves a mad squirrel. Jesus, that did not last long. Work is going very well. Do you have a low food problem? That's only because our food isn't in the stockpile yet. Now the problem has been dealt with, we can unrestrict everyone. One thing I forgot to do in here is set up a light so that people don't complain about working in the dark. So you'll see that I did set this to freeze the food. Now, people generally won't complain. So we're freezing it at such a low temperature, at such a high temperature rather, just minus two, that by the time they get it to where they want to eat it, it will probably have defrosted. Benji there going off to get stoned. So, if you read the description of this, you can see that smoke leaf is basically hot. But 
but if it makes people happy. Who am I to argue? So Sadie has passed out because she is well and truly stoned. Can't blame her. Food poisoning, you know. I have so many questions. And you'll notice the goat is pregnant. She's also sleeping in a freezer. Just try not to think too hard about why. Sometimes people in this game and animals in this game are just dumb. Now, these animals need butchering. Dearly before they go bad. We're just going to make sure that all gets done. So, we've got some nice frozen lynx meat in storage. There we go. Lots of lynx meat, a little bit of squirrel meat. Now, I'm going to take a look at a little bit of wildlife we have. We still don't have the things I want to tame. I think getting a couple of alpacas might be good. And those deer would be very useful. So now you'll see that DB here is going to go and start working on taming these deer. At the end of the day, a, bre a breeding set of anything is useful. Covering from food poisoning now, that's good. Everybody gets back to work with the planting and the harvesting, and hopefully, in a moment, the hauling. Ow. 
Ah, uh, gotta harvest the ambrosia, okay. Then picking up a whole bunch of it to haul back into the stockpile, which is good. No break until we're finished. There we go. Falling stuff, finally. The only one who I will let not haul stuff, I think, is Benji. have our first deer. Nice and healthy. Very good. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pop down a few animal sleeping spots outside where the goats and the deer can sleep and the dog if it wishes. And now you can see the bedroom is starting to come into shape quite nicely. So if we take a look. Still not a great bedroom. It's dirty. And it's still a bit ugly. And we have some milk. Very nice. Failed a quest, that's fine. Got people finally moving stuff around, which is great. I'm just going to order the floors to get finished off here. And I think in the bedrooms we're going to install some nice, homely, wooden floors. Now that I've smoothed it out. Still middle stage pregnancy on that there goat. Happy is inspired creativity. So, this room up here then. Next things we're going to put in are an art bench. And a stone cutter's table. We're not actually going to be using those for anything just yet. That'd be nice to have. We have a couple of bits and pieces to be wary of, still. 
big lack of steel and components, and we have a raid. Four people. Looks like they're planning to tunnel under our defences. So. Get everyone drafted up. And see where the attack comes from. So, one fatality down. Next will be black, hopefully before he can kill the dog. There we go. We're back down here. Oh, not the pregnant alpaca. And there we go. Enemies have been repelled. See, we've got a couple of holes in our walls. Nothing too major. But DB. And Happy are both injured. Not great. But our packer has been healed up a bit. Lost a hoof, poor thing. Oh my god, they killed Baxter. Sorry, dude. Now, Happy has got an infection. So. Who's the best doctor? Benji. Not going to let Fernandez do that. You want to get the good medicine on this infection. There we go. So, if this infection gets to 100%, she dies. Uh, the trick is to get immunity to 100% before the infection can get there. Now she's throwing a tantrum and she's destroyed a bunch of medicine because she's in a lot of pain. Which does is a bit counterintuitive, you know, you're ill, so you're going to destroy the thing that makes you better. Thankfully we've got a lot of herbal lying around. Now, where is Benji? Ah, here he is. Late stage pregnancy on the goat now. We're going to have baby goats soon. And a war merchant has arrived. So, let's go trade with them. They're willing to sell me a rhino? No thanks. I'm 
also got a bunch of crappy weapons. We can sell them. And we could sell them the weed and the ambrosia. Then we wouldn't really be getting anything back. So, what we're going to do is take off ambrosia until it's all the money the fella has. There we go. Now I just have some nice healthy piles of silver. Happy has managed to become unarmed, which is a bit annoying, so we're going to get that re-equipped. Doing very well on the infection, almost 50% immunity. DB, meanwhile, just sleeping off the last of the cut. And the blood loss. Sadie now fixing stuff. Little bits and pieces that got damaged during the battle. Now you'll see that the bedroom is getting better. Getting much better. Still dirty. DB here trying to tame another animal. Why not? There we go. Really want that buck. If I can breed the deer, we are going to be eating well for quite a long time. Love the random rhino that's wandering around. And they've left me a gift of a little bit of silver. Very nice of them. You can see now DB's out of the hospital. All well and good and stuff. Happy. Still battling the infection, but immunity has been acquired, so Happy will not die. This is good news. Gonna have a nasty scar. But other than that, you know, not bad. Now, good thing about walls that have been smoothed, as opposed to walls that haven't, is that walls that have been smoothed can carry electricity. Which means... I'll be able to tear down these torch lamps and replace them. We quickly get that done. There we go.
Nuh uh. You stop that now. So. Get those walls. Built just to finish that bedroom off. Get to work. Right. Now, these two bits especially smoothed. So when it's done, we'll be able to put the power line through it, and everybody will have light in their bedroom. Great news, and once all of this smoothing is done, of course, no more building for a little while. I hope our people get on with that when they wake up. And they can start with the hauling. And we have visitors, a group from the Labil Nation. Okay. We do like the Labil Nation. And a shaman merchant has joined them. So I'm going to let them come in. See where they stop. And then send Sadie to go and... Well, actually... Yeah, no, we send Sadie to go to Rady. Okay, so mostly medicinal stuff here, but we can get rid of some smoke leaf joints and the last of our ambrosia, which gets us a bit of money in. And I think that's all we're going to do with them. We'll buy up their gold, I think. Gold is quite useful to have around, and not just for its sell value. And they're given as a gift of five medicine. The visitors, I think that is. So with this bedroom finished, it looks quite nice. It's a little cramped, but they can make do. Like somebody's cleaned out this little alien hive, uh, insect hive for us, which is very nice. And so, with our food stockpile issue taken care of and a couple more battles under our belt, I believe we are pretty much done for the day. So guys, and gals, and anybody else who happens to be watching, you enjoyed this episode. A quick look at this. Uh, we do not want an Ash Layer, thank you. So yes, if you enjoyed this episode, thank you very much for watching. All the usual stuff applies, links will be on the screen. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.